August 1997. Another day on the files. Er, yeah, so previously, you know, miscellaneous buildup, continuing development. Hornet Lake is finally online. We have better service. Various incremental tech progress and, uh... We left off with uh, a mission of sorts. In the waiting. It seems like, as an operation, we're on the verge of breaking through into some new territory. Also, the workshop has been paid for, so. Buildings. Imagine. Yeah, we're recruiting our chief researcher, which will probably then also lead to laboratory building at some point. Yeah, dissections and interrogations are continuing. Weapon licensing is continuing. Feels like we're testing the limits of what Van is capable of, which is good. We're on the verge of more logistic. Can I do a quick cult engagement? Means weapons out. All right, and first aid spray is amazing. I want that to be rolled out everywhere we can the moment we have a license to buy first aid spray. All right, you are carrying Beretta ammo. You are just pistol ear. This team had gone out to do a farm arrest, so... Their setup was appropriately strange. And you had a lot of bullets for whatever reason, but all right, we'll switch you back over to MP5. Extremely well-placed bus stop. You love to see this. Two wounds are occurring. You should have, uh, yeah. Oversight on my part. Possibly somewhere else as well. There's a basement to, well, no, this is the bottom layer of the map. Okay, those are stairs up to 
that office space there. Alright, so with that in mind... My rifle up on the side of the road here. If I can't quite get Colombo all of the way across the road, but that's mostly clearing the field of fire that this guy would have. And yeah, you just hang out here and watch our backs. Good watch. All right, pistol and tube. And with 16 time to get that zap in. Well. It's fine. Someone else can try to go for that tease. Oh yeah, also previously, the infinite scorpion works. <laughs> Get you over to this color machine. He disappeared that way, he's probably going to come out over here, and then we can ask a few questions. Mean that meanwhile, you actually want to circle back here. And be ready to also attempt a zap. And also if you just go grab a battery off the floor. Detained. And the other. And it, it's usually, yeah, just two people on these arrest maps. Case closed. Nice and clean. reasonably hefty piles of ammunition for all of our main weapons in the current loadout. I have... M Painkiller, Medkit, Medbag... No, we have yet to research the first aid spray.
Should have some just laying around in the inventory. Didn't send all of it out. Yeah, healing spray. Depends on advanced medicine, which depends on medicine. Okay, there we go. Noted. All right, we'll have to wait until tomorrow morning. Pop circles. States. Yes, Hornet Lake team is the only one available to respond to that. Installing the second hangar out there will be important. That'll help a lot. Especially since that also... I'm on the verge of being able to make the, uh, the air portable Mud Ranger. And once we do that, I think the loadout is two vans and van EX at main base, and then two additional vans here. things to do another day another mystery we'll have to wait till one of those vans gets back thousands of years all right, no idea what to expect from Beast Destruction Operation. Let's go out fully loaded. Give everyone a smoke grenade, just in case. And I have not yet given up on the flamethrower. Maybe go to someone who has more carry weight. Or, don't worry about it. Yeah, this works. Only being a couple of points though for burdened isn't the end of everything. Yeah, that's workable. Well. 
Well. Well. One to six. Anomalous hogs. Hogs with guns. Nearly knocked out by the force of the hogs. Oh, and these are these are four by four or one by two. These are long units. Yeah, open comm supports. Or no, it's a it's a four by four. It's over here is the part that is more hog. And that is how many bullet it takes to fell one of these hogs. Several. Yeah, I have no idea if any allied forces are present on this map. The description made it sound like that would be the case. Yet... Well, let's get the battle data. Entirely possible this will be one of those operations where we show up, unload, and then just get back in the van. Well. Okay. Okay, there are local forces who are engaging. Just, just right over there, off camera. It sounds like a lot of hogs. It's a lot of hogs. Okay, it sounds like the local forces do have some serious armament. So that's nice. I let two people drop dead of injury and not bleed out until the next round. Interesting. There's no time to reload. Several people are typing. <laughs> Surprising that that hog did not take a shot at me. Yeah, that sounds like a an audio clip you would attach to some sort of proper machine gun. Okay, local soldier spotted. Hello. Yeah, 
yes, you just have an M16. Well, there is now time to reload. We're here from animal control. We heard you had problems relating to beasts. Okay, here's another soldier. All right, so I know if anything is opening a door that is human sized. And so possibly is human. All of our representatives have been torn to shreds by feral hogs. Please stay on the line. So this is exactly a situation that the Mud Ranger would be ideal for. Show up with a dozen people in, you know, a closed armored box. Instead of having to deal with the open start that the van gives you. I, I don't think any indirect fire happens anywhere. It's possible a hog has gotten onto the roof of a building or something. That would be terrible. This is probably not the ideal weapon to be continuing to carry as the situation evolves. I think I'll drop the rifle and grab one of the MP5s instead. Time allowing. Just continue to contribute damage. Whenever we can. Okay, somebody finished that one off for us. Good. As long as I do enough damage to tip the scales in favor of the local forces, then the operation will be a success. Drop these. Step over here. Pry the gun off of the body. Continue to watch your back. Just be sure that no hogs come creeping out of these alleyways. We've seen soldiers come out of here and move into the street. It seems vaguely like most of the fighting is happening over here and down here right now. Did we manage to kill two and wound two in our opening solo? We may yet kill more and more. Okay, for example, and just to keep track of it, all right, yeah, you are also another M16 user. Skelter, please. You you take a minute. You are not accustomed to this weapon. Ah. 
What a mysterious anomaly. Someone should investigate that paranormal event. So that one in front of the van is still there. Yeah, the local troops have some kind of heavy weapon up in North Sector. Okay, so there's one there. Still this one here. You are my target. I want to engage you. Then, just a snapshot of you. I then want you. I do not end any turn exposed. That is key to our survival here. Let the Belgians draw the heat. Let the Belgians apply the heat. All right, you are wounded. That's a lot of hogs. I guess the other main thing I could try to do to develop our situation is go into a building. See if I can get a higher vantage point. Uh, this is several months into the campaign. Overall, it's August of 97. I'm flying blind, so I don't know what proportion of the overall campaign progression that is. Beyond knowing that uh, the invasion starts in two years. And yeah, with, with the general impression of this mod is really big. Quite broad and quite deep. Okay, so that was the sound of, like, six, seven hog attacks. And the sound of one hog succumbing to gunfire. So it seems like the crowd is thinning out. Although then, also, there was a lot less gunfire from friendly troops. like my odds of engaging this one if, if we're able to pace this out. I, I don't have a sense of how far they can run. Oh, and we do have one more trooper who's just in the road here. You might be able to do something about this. All right, another hog van- two more hog vanquishing sounds. You love to hear that this trooper is gone. Okay, there you are. And this home, this aisle, this alley is now clear. Hmm. So did it crawl somewhere else to die? Or is it still at large? 
think it's time to start moving. Hogs are not appearing in our area. I need a new locale. I think I'll head up to the top of this building. See what I can see from those windows. Because then also, if there's nothing to do there, I can drop back down to the main floor and step into the street pretty quickly. Uh, we already have a sample of the M16. So even if we get to loot the, uh, the Belgian casualties, I'm not sure if we're going to get much new. Why can't I see the inside of this wall? Oh, is there not a door on this? Strange. I could shoot out a window. But yeah, also fair, since I don't have purchase licenses for assault rifles, having more specimens would also be... Someone punched something. And that means a human punched something, because the, the hogs have claws, not fists. Someone is out there wrestling with these hogs, and that's commendable. Two more screams from defeated hogs. This is going well? This sounds like it's going well. Alright, this building hasn't served us at all. Let's, let's clear out of here. Maybe head out to... Alright, so there's a bus stop here. Looks like. If I can get out to the cola machine... Only one hog attack occurred. And the death rattles are adding up. have been more sounds of defeated hogs than of defeated humans. This seems good for us. Okay, so four spitting attacks from about the same area. So that's either one very energetic hog or maybe two wounded hogs that are up the road. I guess I should just get into the street and take a look. We have daylight. All right, there's one. And let's break line of sight. Can't quite do that, but we distance is on our side here. Okay, so there are two of them. Possibly three of them. Okay, a tank. That would do it. There is a local armored car that has been opening up on these hogs.
That would probably help a lot for our investigation if we had a tank. All right, there's... Oh, this map is also, like, just physically much wider than other ones. That's another thing the mod has done very well. Varying up the size of engagement zones. really like the tone that this mission creates. If we had an assault crew to bring in, then yeah, we'd be participating in something that feels about like a classic terror mission. And since we don't have an assault crew, instead, this is a little tactical survival horror map. Okay, there's another opportunity. You're farther ahead than I thought you were. This this one is a corpse. That one is the live specimen. The fact that the tank has survived this long is a pretty good sign. The tank seems to be properly equipped to deal with this situation. It must have pretty appreciable armor, possibly the right resistances for hog damage type. Okay, could the tank not be pointed in our direction, though? Do we have any... oh, oh my, oh my, that sure is a... Okay, much appreciated, Tank, that you prevented that from happening. Acceptable. We'll put in a good word for you in the report at the Bureau. You wouldn't have been able to get through that door anyway. Still, though. And it sounds like, yeah, the fight has moved this way now. Alright, so... Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen... Nineteen... Known... Defeated Hogs. Okay, tank is here. Tank is good and dependable friend, tank will render. Tank will provide security. Nice. 
That is the sound of still being alive. really don't want to go to the other side of this street. Bank is over there doing what it has to. Okay, this warehouse is not infested with ho not infested with hogs. Warehouse secure. Good. Wonderful. I should go to a soldier corpse and pillage an assault rifle. There's one here. Uh, 17 rounds left in that and 30 in that magazine. Okay. Yeah, that, sh that should be more bullets than I will be able to fire before this mission ends one way or another. We have yet to hear tank explode. Tank fights on. Tank is excited about something out there in the street. Well, that's confirmation that there are two tanks on the map right now. Maybe even three. Tiny little shop kiosk. Remaining hogs could be anywhere. None of the buildings we've seen so far has rooftop access. The windows of this one should give us a better view, though. And this map is quite fast. Also, yeah, for, for as much as the memes about this franchise are about the friendly fire incidents and RNG shenanigans. 
This is XCOM. This is the core mechanical experience of the classic games. Squad tactics about suspenseful exploration of dangerous spaces. Sweeping and clearing structures and terrain. real big thing in the classic games mechanisms was having all of these line of sight and line of fire mechanics by way of voxels. Yeah, it's a sci-fi door kicker. Okay, where in the pipeline is the actual- that live hog, right there. You. I can afford a burst, and then we duck and hide somewhere. Can I afford a burst? How much would it cost me to get over to the house? Cost the entire turn to get over to the house. Well, that's battle data. Okay, that was nerve-rending, but also highly intriguing. I'm just gonna stand up and stretch a moment. Process that simulation. Then we'll get back in there.
is entirely possible that one of the conclusions that we've taken from this is too soon? And to avoid these beyond just a token show up and then eject. Until I have a better kind of dropship. Helicopter might be close to our current tech. Anyway, the main lesson to take from that... Uh, smoke bombs are incredibly important. I actually want a couple of these just armed and ready to go right away. And yeah, I'm not going to humor any thoughts of capturing one of these hogs alive for study. It's all bullets. And yeah, anyone who gets knocked out should just immediately be ready to deploy smoke. It's not flamethrower day. I doubt there is any chance that these hogs are so incredibly flammable that I would have a chance of subduing them, really, with the, uh... Hmm, this fan isn't carrying extra Beretta ammo. Strange. Alright. Bruno, <laughs> your job is to make contact with, with a Belgian soldier Wait for them to get torn in half by a hog, and then steal their rifle. Alright. So... That's on the ground. And that's on the ground. Now the concern becomes how... How? <laughs> how even? Like... Okay, if I move, I'm getting... Perforated, probably. Yeah, my, my safest move is to get into any of the buildings, of which this warehouse, I guess, is the one option that's really open. And both of these hogs aren't facing towards the squad right now. So, yeah, this pair is very in danger because those two hogs are positioned to be able to overwatch at me. Okay, and then there is a front door to this warehouse that I can come out of. Yeah, yeah, that's the stuff. Not having enough move speed to get all the way in there might be my undoing. Let's see. So I can get shot in the back. Get in here. And okay, two wounds. And turn around. And okay, if that's one less shot out of you, that bodes better for front side team here. Ooh, 
to them. And try to make a break for it, including... You can just move here. Just drop that on the ground as I run by. And then that will smoke up the alleyway. We might take some unnecessary stun damage. Alright, you are not fast enough to get all the way over there. I can get you to the smoke, though. Brutal, but... Okay, you're, you're alive. You're not bleeding, even. Yet. Now you're a little bleeding. This is, so far, usable levels of damage. We have med kits. And the smoke bombs are reasonably large. It'll depend on how effective that screen is at distracting the local hogs. Good to know that the vests have reasonable hog resistance. Smoke grenades are, like, the main technology that is really hurting to have missing from the initial loadout. Okay, that door is transparent. That's what's going on. That's a glass door. We have visibility to the outside of the warehouse. Or there's some, there's some anomalous shapes going on with these walls. I should not be able to see you. Or like, oh, there's a window here. All right, that's what it is. Okay, good that we have that visibility. Get in here and get comfortable and do a lot of first aid. Bad man is uninjured, so you get out the bag. You patch up that torso. Start to patch up that. All right, you don't have time for it. Just like that. That's not. Stay clear of the windows. We want to avoid being seen by hogs. Done the most important work of no one is bleeding anymore. A little bit of stun, but everyone is fine. You can just slide that grenade onto your belt. We have three windows we can fire out of, and the door to kick open if we decide that we're ready to go. Until we are ready to go, we just hang out in the dead angles of this room. Yeah. And now we just hope that the Belgians are able to trade effectively against these hogs. The soundscape is not great right now. Tank? It's tank. It's tank there. Can tank come out and play? There we go. 
tank noises. And they can benefit from that smoke screen. And that sure was the human melee attack noise. All right, so put down the bag. Have good. So that is what we will do. Go to a window, see a hog. And if it gives us a line of sight, use that to put some damage downrange carefully. And I actually want to stay closer to the walls than to the center in order to control the angles here. Because, yeah, so, like, in through this window means that, like, these four tiles here and matching tiles in each direction are the danger spots. And it is just showcased here on a geometric level how cover works. Where for our agent who is just standing right here, this uh, this obstructs none of the arc. Whereas for an opponent out here firing in, we are only a tiny portion of a much larger arc. Really not hit you through that. It would be nice to have explosive grenades. Oh well, at least we have the intel. Scouting is important. And even if the wall gets breached, we have the crates to fall back to. Or more likely, if the wall gets breached, we're going to abandon this building for the next one. Putting wounds into the hogs. Single tile holes in the wall are good for us, actually, because that's more firing ports. But those are speed holes. Oh, hold on, throwing noise? Did you bring grenades? Belgians? 
<laughs> You'd be real convenient if you'd brought some grenades. Okay, there is a hog right outside the window. And I have left Batman unable to move out of its arc, so you are now priority target. Not even enough time left to crouch. But being adjacent to you should make this safe. Okay, hog neutralized. Ray slaughtered. And my shot only needs to get through that window safely. Yeah, take two, then hide. If it weren't for this box, I would have a shot clean through the center. Standing here or here might be able to fire it there, because there's another low spot in these boxes. Bruno's main objective remains to find the body of a Belgian soldier and trade up to an M16. Okay, don't want to be there. Step one. Do not be seen. Do not stand up. still been no sounds of tank death. Paranormal phenomena, the sighting of orbs. Interesting stuff. There's an advanced option I might turn on that lets you uh, trace your lines of fire from different angles than the default. If I stand back from the window. Okay, that's permitting the shot, and it's just that auto is not the way to go. I see. <laughs> All right, so now we know of that. Bitch.
Agent Hieronymus should be able to play into that one. Hmm. Yeah, unfortunately, Window Jank is kind of winning out here over uh, other factors. You hate to see it. You're still out there. Okay, we do have direct sight on another one that's just in the road. down. And always more to find. Don't like this. So maybe it's it's facing that way and the tank is out there. Maybe it just won't see us. Feels like a situation where it would have been nice to have brought the elephant rifle. Okay, you're still there. If there is anything high armor enough to put some diminishing returns up against our, uh, our SMGs, it's gonna be these. Shapes, please.
I might retire the hunting rifle for the Nitro Express. Anything that merits single shot big gun should have our biggest available bullet. Ow. Why? Okay, you have our remaining smoke grenade. Misclick. You hate to see. I was going to drop it here so that I would feel safer about stepping outside, taking a shot, and stepping back in with somebody else. Well. Maybe next round. Can you thread this needle? You can see the beast, but you don't have favorable geometry against it. There we go. Real quick. Come on, Bruno. Yeah! Also, good intel. Good scouting, Bruno. There's still at least one living Belgian soldier in the area. All right, so. I guess I'm also wondering, I look around the map here. What, I wanna, all right, there's a couple of soldier corpses back by the van. There you are still. Might be time to go steal a gun for Bruno. Maybe steal guns for everybody. Quad M16s could do a lot. All right, rearm this thing. Keep expecting throw to be the first option. Well. May also be time to maneuver into a new building. 
This one's a little awkward. you had your chance. Yeah, my options for fighting for this building are turning out less than great. I could just get on a roof. I think I could see the roof of that building during the simulation. Now, the thing that I've seen from uh, the test playthroughs, but not yet demonstrated during the stream playthrough here, uh, the, the most powerful thing about the Mud Ranger, it has a ladder that lets you get on top of it from inside. you can just always claim a little bit of high ground. Bruno, go outside. Just out into the smoke. We have folks who can try to cover you, who can pretend to cover you. Oh, you're still right there. Well. Good for you. Well. Good for you. Everything seems fine. With the question invited, okay, how far can I see through this smoke? Sounds like more hogs have been defeated. And just drop your pistol. Okay, one person has upgraded their weapon. Oh. 
you know, press your luck there. I should probably have you run back into this warehouse. Put the grenade back on the belt. You hate to see it. Nearly got you back. Two of them. And they are already pointed at me, so... No, we don't. This time for sure. After constantly arming and unarming the same grenade. Okay, this one's in a better position to get shot at. Set that smoke up. Out there. You do not have time left to uh, comfortably take that shot. You, though. No real angle. Fake angles only. Real angles available in some areas. Check local listings. Yeah, this thing is too cramped for Skulder to really be able to operate with the uh, rifle here. Not enough movement. Okay, I've seen you mention this first-person view. Is that something that happens in-game? At speed? What, what button is that? Is that a mod thing? Is that a base game thing? I would harness this power to look directly at the voxels. Okay, it exports a, save, a screenshot. Interesting.
Yeah, the double-edged nature of smoke. We can... We can look around at the nothing, at the smoke. It's confirmation that they can't see us, probably. Unless they have better smoke vision. There's a top floor of that warehouse. I think that's our move. Trying to do like yeah, real time rendering of the relevant images in engine might be a bit much. Okay, that's deep enough in the smoke that they're actually uh, suffering a bit from inhalation. get out of this warehouse and move into this warehouse where we could go up top and maybe try to use the windows maybe Okay, we have a challenger. But we're not going out there just yet. might be able to contribute to this breakout by getting in like a flanking attack from down here. That's damage, hopefully. This one. Just over here, and then just a snap. A hit will do anything, anything from nothing to twice the nominal damage rating of the weapon. So for most of my current gear, 0 to 40 or 0 to 50. Subtract armor. That's not a door. That's a window. Take the risk. Okay, and then there's these big doors here. The risk not being from this, since it is now turned sidewise, but from if there were anything waiting for me up here. Which, from the distribution of hogs, seems like it's not a concern. It's looking at this now, so we should bail out of here. And the 
trees. The fog around the van is starting to thin out. That is how long we've been active here. Concerning that the tanks have stopped firing. Gotta be stairs in here somewhere. Oh, good day. Well. Okay, good. You can make it over and in. You can get back into the alley to hide. Stairs. And we do have some holes in the wall down here at ground level. If it just had roof access, this would be an ideal fighting position. All right, we have regained line of sight on multiple hogs. There is a hog carcass inside of this building. There, there are indoor hogs. Nowhere is safe. There's no such thing as a hog proof vest. That at least creates a reason that the tanks could be silent, but still alive. If the remaining hogs are not well exposed to the vehicles. And I don't see any vehicle wrecks anywhere. Got two live ones. There we go.
Just a lull in the fighting. Soldiers found natural enemies. And I have some lines of fire. Good. These windows are actually usably large. Love to see that. since my weapons I, th I think in particular with how this battle has gone that's confirmation that uh, most of our current guns are too weak to defeat terrain that is why we've not been punching much holes in the landscape as we go That will change as we get access to stronger weapons. All these holes in these buildings have been inflicted by the tanks themselves. And their machine guns. advantage of this helpful bullet permeable glass. It is possible that the entirety of this session is going to be hog battle. And I do not call that a bad thing. This is real. Serious investigation of paranormal events. Nice. So they can see us in here, and they are firing back at us from down there. This is a dangerous position, but it's a decent one. It's a position we can quickly abandon.
Really? That's among the strongest of properties that a fighting position can have. And no chance of a snap there. Yeah, the hog spines are able to punch holes in these walls. stand too close to the windows. Oh, okay, and there's more. It, it's very difficult to see these windows in the brick wall, but those are also there. Come out here and take a look. This whole corner of the map seems quiet. I don't think there's much else we can do from here. Oh, hello, Tank. How did you get in here? Well, I guess, yeah, you can drive through. All of that. Why did you come in here? Hello, military armored car. Thanks, Duck. Uh, that that what? That's a top-down view of. A square turret with two uh, gun barrels poking out the front. If you come out into the road, we will be able to shoot you from up here. Might be able to shoot you from up here regardless. Almost.
Tank is exploring. That might be obstructing Tank from escaping a little bit. Let's, uh... Let's accommodate Tank. What three creatures do we have visual on? Alley, back there and back there. You two ready to leave the building? You abandon this position. Since you have to reload anyway. Tank is back in action. Yeah, actually, this might work, depending on how good that arc is. pop out here and not quite hit this guy. The angle isn't there. Yeah, there is an access to this building. Scout this thing just to have it out of the way. Forty-fives. Yeah, just enter a convenience store for now. Possibly head over and occupy that apartment. Doing what I can from up here.
good stuff. Good stuff. We have regained access to the van? Probably. And with a full turn, I would be able to run across this clearing. Half turn, I will leave that be. And actually, you change direction over here. Let's form a fire team. Tank is doing all right. Got two of them hanging out in that alleyway there. We got a little uh, barracks here. Genius sighting. Local hero. Okay, that one's dangerous. I left myself open to that. Okay, if I stand up, that should do it. Astounding scientific discovery of man with no fucks to give.
baffling paranormal occurrence. Okay, now I seem to be out of targets from these windows. Let's move along. Get everyone back to the vicinity of the van and try to fight like this. Alright, so Skull has one more clip of rifle ammo. I could probably ditch that and steal another M16. Off one of these lads. That's the one I looted before, so... You'll do nicely. If we walk out of this mission, 
that's undeniable evidence that our current budget and appropriations are more than sufficient to defeat any number of hogs. So, procurement will continue as normal. We're in here. There are tanks operating over there, ish. Yes. Yeah. Let's try to group back up. Then we can make some attempt to do a sweep. If I move into and capture this building, that should give me advantage over most of the rest of the map. That's my goal. Well, that's at least one room that we know is free of hog. There's a strong possibility that the stragglers are indoors and unable to escape.
Case closed. Thirty six hogs. Well, that's a uh, enemy soul or friendly soldiers are in that uh, in that count. Sufficient. One survivor. Five survivors, including our agents. And we took out five. And we do get to keep all the M16s. Nice. No, a sniper rifle. And an MG3. And a bunch of badges. Oh. Case closed? Case closed. Confiscated it as evidence. Yeah, set aside projects for each of these. Also hit Grenade. Grenade. And I, I, I think the, the badges are just... Uh, those are treasure to sell. Probably. Two hundred and fifty bucks per soldier badge, twelve hundred per officer badge. Okay, that gives us combat data for soldier. A little bit of time pass here, see if we get to process any of these results. Oh, right, and there is another active case to go for. And one. Engage. Oh, and celebratory. Purchase of big rifle. Yeah, we have two other active cases that are in the field right now. Yeah, the 308 also might be quite good. As an actual military weapon. Sword. Sword data. It's a sword. UFO buzzing the UK UFO landing site
Maybe. And of course, those all arrived just in time to have missed getting. Oh, yeah, Van 4 is ready. We're not fast enough to, uh... Right. This council now authorizes an investigation. Rats. Okay, Chief Researcher. Hello. So we can start learning more about mutants. All right, we need to get a couple of supporters of Dagon to uh, investigate. Put four people on the shard. I think it's finally time to figure out the shard. Crop circles at night. Yeah, because crop circles is just we need to go detain some farmers. So, phaser and flashlight. You're already carrying a taser, so battery and taser and flashlight. and ready for unarmed human immediately sighted. And let's see, we are up against one edge of the map. I'll go around the wheat in order to cover that faster. Yep. 
Yeah, the reason you would ever leave the, uh, the flashlights off is because vision is a double-edged sword. Lighting is for everyone. By having the lamp on, I both can see, but also am visible. Door opened, and it wasn't this one or that one. So, that's all well and good. Suspect is over there. And armed with a shotgun. We have multiple angles of approach on him. Like, yeah, now that we know that that guy is where he is, this would be a situation where it could be worthwhile to switch off the lights. And, like, the, the UI convenience of night vision is here for... ...of planning. And that's the only way into this fence. So. Yeah, that's about striking distance. Now we light them up. Case closed. Case closed. And right, this was the other team, so we have to send. Send all of this, all the interesting material back to Alexandria. Try to extract a couple more lab reports. So also, I'm, I've done all the research from abducted farmers that we can currently interact with. But for now, we just release these farmers. There's still Dagon Intel to acquire. Oh. 
We have mostly gotten the red done until that's available at this level. Beetle Corpse. Larger than usual beetle. Properties unknown. Well, okay, let me uh get someone filling out machine gun paperwork. Zombies in Australia. Oh, well, that's important. Van 3, I think, is still our closest uh, asset. Owl man. Both owl and man. Supposedly flammable. And the gym is open. All right. that all gyms are fully engaged. Cult safe house is a pretty big deal. Not something we engage with at night. I think that and the zombie infestation. Will be our opening events next time. Just as a breather after the hog incident. Operation 30 to 50. As recorded in the files.